Hey guys, so welcome to another vlog. Um, today is Tuesday, so it's the beginning part of a new week, and I thought I would start a vlog um, because I have a pretty busy week ahead of me, and I feel like I have a lot of stuff I can vlog, so we're going to attempt this. Um, yeah, like I said, it's Tuesday. I just got back from the food store, and I'm currently having a iced coffee. This hair is like driving me crazy. If you're wondering what I drink, um, I always have hot coffee in the morning when I wake up. I make it like the old-fashioned way in the in the coffee pot. I don't have a Keurig. I never even finish a full cup, but sometimes I treat myself to an iced coffee in the afternoon, and I really need it right now because I have a headache. Um, but I just am drinking cold brew. I like the chameleon cold brew, and I actually have a little bit of another cold brew in here. I kind of mix the two together because I was trying to finish them both off. Um, I put vanilla almond milk creamer, and then this on top is almond milk whipped cream. So it's whipped cream just made with no dairy and a little bit of cinnamon. Very, very good. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just got back from the food store. Today I just was doing work on the computer, going back and forth with some clients um, to confirm their appointments. Um, I was contacting my brides, giving them the final balance, um, the brides that I had this week. So yeah, just doing like that kind of stuff. I also was setting up um, and going back and forth with somebody on Wedding Wire, like a representative on we Wedding Wire, because I am considering going back on Wedding Wire. I am currently on The Knot, and I was on Wedding Wire a couple years ago. I took myself off, and then I went on The Knot when I took myself off Wedding Wire. And now I'm going to go um, back on Wedding Wire, but I'm going to stay on The Knot as well, because I actually found out that they are the same owner now, Wedding Wire and The Knot. So... I'm going to be on both sites, but I was just asking the guy a couple questions before I like make the final decision if I'm going to go back because it is a financial obligation, you know, every month and I want to make sure that it is worth it for me and my business. So I was doing that. I want to film. I really want to film today, but I don't know if I can film. I am not feeling that great. I have like this weird headache. I I feel like it's going to be a migraine the way it's starting because I'm a little nauseous and whenever I get nauseous and I have a headache, it's usually because I'm getting a migraine or have a migraine currently. So yeah, like even just talking right now, I'm like getting like a little dizzy. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not getting sick because we don't have time for that. Um, I did take some emergency this morning. Um, but yeah, I have a busy week. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow, I'm going to see my nephew, Weston. So I now call Wednesdays Weston Wednesdays because me, my mom, and my grandma go to um, my sister-in-law's and brother's house to visit my nephew and just hang with my sister-in-law, hang with Weston, get some quality time together, give my sister-in-law a little bit of a break because she's still on maternity leave and my mom usually cooks them dinner and it's just like a nice day. We get to see each other and just spend some time with the new baby and my mom like will just help my sister-in-law around the house and just give her like a little bit of a break, um, you know, because she's home every day now that she has... Uh, now that she's on maternity leave. So that's the plan for tomorrow. But since I won't be home tomorrow, because I'll be at my sister-in-law's, um, I want to make sure I get everything I need to get done, done today. Um, so I also washed my brushes for my kit. I washed my face brushes because, um, I have a lot of makeups to do today and I just wanted to deep clean them. Not today. A lot of makeups to do this week. And I just wanted to make sure that they were deep cleaned. And then I'm just going to clean my eye brushes with Cinema Secrets because all of them pretty much just have shadow on them. Like there's not a lot of build up or anything. So I didn't feel the need to like deep clean those. And I don't like to deep clean them more than like once every other week because these brushes get a lot of use. And I'm always cleaning them in between clients with brush cleaner. So they get used and abused. So I like to prolong the life a little bit. So I do like a deep clean every other week and then like in between clients I'll just use brush cleaner um 
But yeah, uh, Thursday I have two trials and a spray tan. Friday I have a big wedding. I have, it's 13 girls, so it's gonna be me. And then I have two artists coming with me to do some of the girls. Um, it's actually a gay wedding, so I'm really excited because I get to do two brides. And um, I'm kind of curious how they're gonna work it out because we're gonna be getting ready. We're stay we're we're setting up and that's where we're staying for the day. So the brides need to figure out how they're going to get in and out of the room without seeing each other because they both need to get their hair and makeup done. So they said they figured out a plan, so hopefully it works out. Um Saturday I have a wedding, a seven person wedding that I'm doing myself, which is fine. I've done them so many times. I've done that many girls many times myself, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's hard um, to do that many girls yourself. It it It's hard on the body <laughs> because you're standing there for pretty much seven hours in the same spot. Go, 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 like nonstop doing makeup after makeup. And I personally don't really eat or drink when I do weddings like that because there's just not time to like go pee if I'm drinking water or anything like there's honestly not time for it and I don't want to be eating while I'm doing someone's makeup so by the end of those days those weddings I'm usually pretty exhausted and my back usually hurts because I'm stationary most of the time just standing there doing makeup so I feel like my back gets stiff um and then after that, I actually have four Halloween makeup appointments. So Saturday is a 12 hour day for me and I'm scared. I'm a little scared, but I'm gonna try and be as prepared as I can. I'm gonna pack myself lunch. I'm gonna try and stay hydrated and we'll do it. And Sunday I have a couple of trials as well. So it's a busy week. So if you want to see what my week is like, then I guess just keep watching. I have a couple updates for you guys, so I'll be sharing that, and yeah. Hey guys, so I wanted to share with you guys my new area in my studio. Um, so if you guys remember, I had a closet here, and yes, I did use it, but it wasn't like packed in there. Like, I definitely knew I could find alternative places for the stuff that I had in there, and I've been really wanting a desk in my studio because I just needed an area where I could sit down, I could answer my emails, I could write in my planner, I can write my appointments down, just a place where I can do like computer work. And I could, I would usually just sit on the couch and do it, or I would sit at the kitchen table, but it just, I, I wasn't motivated sitting in the, like who's motivated sitting on the couch? Like nobody. But if you have a desk, I feel like it just motivates you a lot more. Um, so I took the doors, well, my mom helped me with his entire project. My mom is very handy around the house and she's like literally the best. So she helped me with this whole process. But I took the doors off of the closet, took down all the shelving, took everything out of the closet. Um, we painted the closet white. Um, <clears throat> we had to, of course, patch some holes and stuff from the shelving. This is actually a desk that I had um, for my New York City apartment. So it was just in storage at my grandparents' house. And I was like, you know what? I loved that desk. Instead of buying a new desk, I'll just use what I have. And it's great because it has this shelving piece on top of it where I can put whatever, whatever I want. In this case, I just put decor. But yeah, this is what I decided to do. I just kind of made a little nook for my desk. Um, so the desk was actually from a garage sale. Um, so... I can't tell you like what store is from or anything like that. The little white fur ottoman is from Amazon. Um, I still have to add some decor, but this is like the start of it. And then I'll just add a few things. But yeah, I have my computer there. I have this little cup. It says wake up and make up. Um, I just have pens in there. This is just an eyeshadow palette. This is a journal. Um, we have some beauty blenders there. Uh, here we have, I got this on clearance at Home Goods. It says she designed a life she loved. I also have this neon lip sign that I love. Um, this is from Home Goods. This is from Home Goods. Uh, I don't know. Walmart candle. This is a photo 
um this is a frame i have to get a new picture printed to put in there we have my award from the knot this is an old elephant my grandma got for me at a garage sale and i think ikea um, so that is that and then in here I just pretty much have like work stuff, you know like business cards um, In here I have like paperwork and stuff. This drawer is a little messy because I literally just threw everything in here So I could show you guys the desk and not have stuff all over it um, In here we have my extra lashes um, For clients, so we have all of that we have disposables, and then this is all camera equipment. These are all mink lashes. And then in here, we have all paperwork for my business. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my new setup. I absolutely love it, and I've been doing my work up here, and it honestly makes such a difference. So please excuse my no lipstick lips. I still have to put on my lipstick and whatnot, but... Today's Thursday. I have two trials today and a spray tan. So I just got ready. I just kind of did like basic makeup today. I just wasn't feeling the full glam. I have a lot of things I got to do. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do basic makeup. So yeah, I have a client coming at 12. She's a bride for a trial. And then I have a mother of the bride coming at two for a trial. And then I really need to run to Walmart to get lashes for my clients um, this week. So I think I'm going to do that after my second trial. And then, yeah, right now I'm just going to get my studio cleans. I'll show you like once it's all set up and clean. And then um, I'm going to get like my kit clean. That way later when I'm done with my clients, I can just put everything away and it's and all what am i talking about and i just want to get my kit clean too because um that way when i'm done with my clients i can just put all this all these products that are out just back into the kit put them in their spots and that's that like i don't want to have to sanitize anything obviously i'm gonna have to wash my brushes but other than that i just want like everything clean and ready to go because i have a wedding tomorrow um, a pretty big wedding so yeah but right now I'm just gonna clean up this space and then I need to answer some emails and get some work done and then um, yeah that's pretty much it so I will catch up with you guys later
like another 40 minutes left in my car drive, my car ride, and I'm exhausted. I just did an eight person wedding by myself, no breaks, lashes on everyone but the bride because she had extent lash extensions, um, like pretty much full glam on everybody. So I'm hurting, I'm hurting. And I have a 12 hour day today. I literally, by the end of the day, will have done makeup for 12 hours. <laughs> and my body is feeling it right now. Like, I feel so achy and I'm just like, my body is tired. Because when you do an eight person wedding, some people, will, some people may think, oh, that doesn't sound that bad. Like, how hard can it be? To be standing for eight hours straight, in one spot not walking around and standing in one spot doing makeup non-stop with no break that is a lot harder than you think your back hurts your legs hurt hey guys future mckenna popping in real quick just wanted to pause that for a sec because I feel like I was coming off like I wasn't grateful for that wedding and that I don't know I was kind of negative. I just was really tired and I don't want it to come off like I don't love what I do because I am so thankful, so grateful that I get to work with the most amazing clients and the most amazing brides and that I get to be a part of someone's special day. Like I get to be a part of a bride's most important day of their life, the day that they get married and I will forever be grateful for that. It is such a rewarding job like what I do is just beyond rewarding. So I just wanted to put that out there because I don't want you to think like I don't feel that way. I just was very tired when I was talking to the camera at this point and I was hurting. Like my back was really hurting. And the whole point of this little rant was to just explain that sometimes it's frustrating because I always have people saying, oh, it must be nice to like have your job or oh, it must be nice to, <sighs> yeah, basically have your job. But I was just trying to make a point that I work really hard. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that. Let's get back to the other clip. You're usually hungry. I mean, I've had to pee. I didn't even pee because I didn't have time. And now I have to go do three more makeups. And I'm just saying this because, you know, I may not work you know, five days a week, Monday through Friday, like a lot of people do. Actually, I work seven days a week because I own my own business. And when you own your own business, the work literally never stops. There's always going to be emails that have to be answered. There's always going to be posts that have to be made on social media. There's always going to be clients you have to go back and forth with, contracts. Like, it literally never stops. But I may, I may work seven days a week. But I may not actually be working and doing makeup seven days a week. I would say I usually am doing makeup on like an average week, like four days a week. But let me tell you, I work my ass off the days that I work. I, like today, I'm pulling a 12 hour day. I am exhausted, my body hurts. And I know, I'm just saying this because I know a lot of people look at me I've had clients say, oh, this is what you do? Like, that must be nice. I know people say, oh, it must be nice. She doesn't have to, she makes her own schedule. Oh, it must be nice. She's only, she only does makeup. Like, how hard could that be? Oh, it must be nice that she doesn't have to work Monday through Friday and have a nine to five job. And it's frustrating when I hear that because my job is not all glue glitz and glam. My job is not glamorous. My job requires hustling. Like, I hustle. I didn't have to take these three Halloween clients tonight if I didn't want to, but guess what? I'm doing it because it means money and because it means it's a chance for me to grow my business even more because I'm just doing more clients, which means more referrals. Like, you just shut up and do what you gotta do. And... Yeah, people may say, say, oh, it must be nice, but guess what? I work my butt off. Like, by the end of the night tonight, 
my whole body will be aching. My back will be aching, my hips will be aching. Everything will be aching because I haven't stopped. So before you sit there and say, must be nice, just think about it because if you think doing an eight person wedding by yourself with no breaks is easy, you have no clue. You really don't because it's not easy. It's a lot. It's a lot of pressure. It's, um, like I said, hard on your body. You can't take any breaks. Like, I barely drank water today. I'm dehydrated because I just, Prepare there's just no time. Hey guys, so the last clip you guys probably saw was me kind of ranting a little bit on my way home from a wedding, my 12 hour day saying it must be nice and um, I haven't vlogged since. So I just wanted to come on here and kind of officially close out this vlog and kind of add some last minute thoughts. So going off of what I was saying, um, yeah, I basically was just frustrated because a lot of people look at me and say, oh, it must be nice. Like, oh, that's all you do. Like, that must be nice. You have flexibility. And that is true. I definitely have flexibility when it comes to my job and the fact that I own my own business. I can decide what... By the way, I am sorry if my hands look orange as hell. That is not how they look in person. I have no idea why my camera is making my hands look like that. I don't know. This camera is not the best quality, but... Regardless, um, yeah, it, that that rant was just coming out of frustration because a lot of people do say those things to me and it makes me feel like they think I don't really have to work hard and that's so not the truth. I really do work hard and everything I have in my kit, everything here is because I worked hard, you know? This studio space is because I worked hard. Now, I'm not going to discredit the fact that my parents have helped me a lot. Um, I live in their home, so obviously this room is in their home. Um, and my parents have been so supportive. But besides their support, you know, financially, like, I've pretty much done this all myself. My kit, all that makeup is makeup that I bought with myself, my hard-earned money, um... You know, it's just my studio happens to be my parents' house. And I think people see me also, I think people also say like, oh, it must be nice too because I live with my parents and it, they think like, oh, you know, she doesn't have to pay rent for a studio space. And yes, I am very lucky and I'm very thankful for the fact that my parents are so supportive and that I get to still live at home. But me living at home is a choice it's because I prefer to save my money. I don't want to rent anywhere. If I'm going to move out, it's going to be into a home that I buy with my boyfriend. And that is why we are both still at home because we want to save so that we can buy a home together. I just don't want to rent. If you're not familiar with New Jersey, New Jersey rent is really, really, really high. And buying a home here is no joke. Like it is... You know, it's it's expensive. To live in New Jersey is very expensive. Property taxes are extremely high and um, it's not easy. And the fact that I own my own business, it's a little bit harder to get approved for a mortgage and stuff because I don't have like someone paying me and giving me paychecks every week and getting taxes taken out. Like, you know, running your own business, things are really different, especially when it comes to taxes. So it's a little bit harder to get approved for a mortgage and stuff like that. So that is why I'm home. I'm saving my money and I love being here. I love the fact that I'm so close to my parents. My parents love having me here. So for right now, it works and I'm so thankful that I get to have this studio space here. Um, but yeah, don't think when you see, I just hate when people see people like through social media and stuff and say, oh, it must be nice or oh, they have the life, blah, 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 because we really don't know what they're going through. We really don't know the struggles they face every day and people don't know the struggles that I've dealt with. So I guess the whole point of this is don't sit there and say it must be nice when you actually don't know the person's situation. And um, that goes for all bridal makeup artists. We all work our ass off. Just makeup artists in general, we work. If you're in film and you're a makeup artist, I know you work because being on set all day, it's like 12 hour days, it's crazy. 
my old boss used to be a celebrity makeup artist so like I know it's a lot of work um you know and same thing with bridal makeup artists yeah we may not be doing weddings you know Monday through Friday because not a lot of people get married on Monday Tuesday Wednesdays although people are getting married during the week now um doesn't mean we're not working hard because we do. So that was the whole point of that rant. And I don't know if it translated right. I have all the thoughts in my head. I don't know if it's translating. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you guys keep asking me to actually vlog a wedding. And I want to do that for you guys so bad. I'm just still like awkward about this vlogging thing. And obviously I would have to get the bride's approval first. And I just feel so awkward about it. <laughs> like I wish it wasn't like that, but I do. I feel like weird asking the my bride if she would care if I like vlog. So I'm hoping to get there, you know, soon. But I'm just not quite there yet where I'm just like totally comfortable with it. Um, maybe this Friday's wedding I'll get like little clips here and there if I can, but we'll see. I just feel like I don't really have time to pull my camera out. Like I would literally need to have someone there like filming for me. Like just like bring someone along to hold my camera. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. But for now you just kind of get the behind the scenes of being a bridal makeup artist. And then eventually we'll actually get the wedding vlogs when I feel comfortable with it. You know what I mean?